Do it right. Oh, there you go. Yay! Yay! I love it. All right. Okay, and then you say audio is rolling, and then and then you're like, roll video. Okay, now. And then did it I don't know that it's no. rolling. What do you mean? Oh wait. It's red. Oh. Okay, it looks good. Okay, now wait. It's recording. It says it. Okay, good. Now what you have to do is you have to do this. This is like this is where it goes really professional. Then you gotta go. Really? I don't know because then you see like what'll happen. Can is, we just start? Can we uh, just push? Start? Yeah, all right. Can we minimize that so we don't use a graphic cycle oh, or yeah. whatever? Oh yeah. Oh, good idea. Graphic cycle. Twenty-four year old computer. All right, man. Should we push the crap? Push the button. We're just gonna crap out of this. Hey, in the house. Here, man. Yeah, yes. you? Why don't you? Oh, what wait. are you doing? I'm giving him a seat, man. Oh, all right. Hi, honey. Oh, come on and take my picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how are you, Kim? Oh, you are now a ninja. Oh, there are so many. Okay, come on up, buddy. Can you hop? Or what are you going to do? Okay, come and take pictures. Yeah. Okay, man. That's, That's it. No problem, man. Oh, this is awesome, dude. I'm so in love that you're here. So, ladies, what is this? oh, I don't know. This is us screwing around, wasting time, and not making any money. <laughs> but we have fun. Pretty much it. the same as always, yeah, right? That's pretty much how we roll. <laughs> so, um, we have written the tools. We came up with that name recently. Do you like it? I love it. Do you wish you had come up with it yourself? Would you like to be a, a honorary, an tool? honorary tool? I, I would love it. I knew you would. would. Be the first one. Yeah, you would, have, actually. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have any other t-shirts. Okay. Right. These were given to us by a, 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 what, not a listener, a watcher, yeah. a, view, a viewer. So we do a weekly show That's right. every Friday afternoon. Yeah. And uh, the tool show, and yeah. we've got a bunch of regulars. Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. We do podcasts and we do Google we Hangout. Live. So like we do it live. So what's going on? Like we we, we broadcast it live over here on, at like stagerock.com slash live, nice. and and so it's streaming live like right now we hope, and um and then we archive it, and then so then we then we have the we have the video, and then we strip out the audio and we put it up on the iTunes. We take over the world. Jesus. I know. We are monsters. No work at all. So this, this, this microphone picks up all the sound. It well, should. Well, it seems to be picking up pretty good. We just bought it. It's the H4M. We actually have more of a studio at the office. Yeah. This is like oh. travel. We've never been on the road before. We do this show outside. Outside? Yeah. Outside, in the, in outside the, the office in the yeah. woods, basically. It, it was Greg's idea. <laughs> Because he's like, I was like, how can I make this even more ridiculous yeah. than it already is? And what's going to be good is, what's going to be really good about it is that it's going to start getting cold as shit, and it's going to oh, be nice. awesome. Yeah. We had to wear hoods last week. Yeah. You're going to make a little fire for yourself? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Thanks, Kim. So, so, who do we have here, well, the Sage? the one and the only, Mark Poirier from... Aquisio! We also molest all our guests, so we hope yeah. you're comfortable I, with I, that. I'm an avid fisherman. Alvin, how's the fishing season this year? Oh, it wasn't that great. I, I had two nice fishing trips, let's say, but um, usually I'll go out every two weeks. I'll take a day yes. off work and, yes. and go and look for uh, trout. For You're doing trout, trout, but salmon. This year was good. Why? What's the too, matter? Too busy. Oh, oh. You're working too hard, making too much money. What are you gonna do? No? So wasn't it? Oh, oh. I, I, I hear you, baby. I'm loving it. But so, you're here to fix all that. Yeah, man. Pubcon, that's it. That's it. right? That's it. That's it. Okay. Jeez. So tell me oh, this. We're gonna. One of the things that we're gonna be doing is editing my voice out when I say this. But <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that we're gonna yes. do is we're gonna edit these down and do yeah. little, like, little kind of like little speaker bit, interviews yeah. for you. Yeah. So. so you have a little Present. Yeah, so like I was kind of wondering, like maybe you could tell us a little bit, Mark, about yeah. why you're here and what you do and what your company does yeah. and that sort of thing. Yeah. So I love this conference 
it's different. I, I so I attend a lot of internet marketing conferences, as search engine strategies or SES now at SMX. Yeah, yeah, you I do attend all. Ad tech as well. You have to promote our product. Right. Oma. Uh, What's Oma? Online media marketing, uh, nice. something, something. So you see a lot of conferences. <laughs> yeah, you're a conference And then guy. in Europe as well. Oh, wow, you're going over to Europe? There. Yeah, so I do. Last year I did about 15 shows. Wow, dude. PPC Hero, or the Hero oh, Conf, rather. Wow. Yeah. There's a good number of them. Yeah. So and this is where I come to learn stuff. Really? Because yeah. it's hardcore. These are like these are the long-term people that have been doing this for a long time. Yeah, a lot of these guys, I see them as guys working in their in their basement by themselves. Or little teams of two or three, yes, and making like hundreds of thousands of dollars, right. yeah, or millions man. of dollars, ah, without right. any clients or anything like that. You know, so yeah. there's something to say for that. Yeah, one that day this... we'll all move back into our parents' Oh, basement. it's like a dream. <laughs> it's a dream. Why didn't we ever leave? But, so tell you me know, this. How can you do that? Like, yeah. so you need yeah. to have special skills. Right? Yeah. You need to know things. Do you feel that this is still an affiliate? Are there a lot of affiliates that come to PubCon? Yeah, of course. So it's, it's a big it's a big affiliate group. Yeah. Do you would you say that it's more affiliate than corporate? I'm not well qualified to answer yeah, that right, question. Right. Honestly, I don't know but, either. Uh, I yeah. So is it more affiliate than corporate? Yes. Yeah. You would say if you look at the. Uh, who are the sponsors are, yes. you know, the tools and the things they sell. Yes. It caters more to the, uh, I find it, it yeah. caters more to the affiliate marketer yes. than to the corporate marketer. So, nice. the, the cool like thing the about yeah. that, the cool thing about that is that, like, this is not a hidden secret conference to people in the industry, but it's probably kind of a, a, a hidden gem for corporate. Yeah. And for people like that, that young lady that was just here, like in that publishing company, her coming here, talking to these people, she's going to get like the real deal. Yeah. She's not going to be hearing uh, the vice president of sales for company X yeah. on a panel. Yeah. Right? It may happen, but typically it's, right. not, it's, it's that. not that. It's, it's not really it's the most respected SEOs, yeah. the most respected yeah. media buyers, yeah. the most respected social media minds. Yeah. And in like, the world, there's yeah. guys from Russia here. There's people Real? From all yeah. over the place. That's yeah. awesome. But that's what I really love about kind of like a conference like this because you can really pick up these tips and tricks that don't come from the corporate world. Yeah. But they come from all these basement like kind of. Yeah. The speakers are often not there to promote themselves. Yeah. They're, right. They're here because they want to share knowledge. You know, they're part of the community. Yeah. It's always been like that. I mean, I come. Every two years, maybe to PubCon, I was like a long time Webmaster World subscribers. Yeah, I paid. I was one of the first paying members a long, wow. long time, long, long, long time oh, ago. Yeah, and it was that spirit of community that you got yeah. from Webmaster World and that and PubCon. Yeah, know, that's still here today. Yeah, um, I was. I had the opportunity because I'm, I'm doing. Like, were you at the speaker enclave? Did you get it? No, uh, um, I had to finish my deck. Right. Well, I was only there. I I, I had to like finish setting up. But yeah, I, I basically like had to kick minutes. him out. Yeah, though. yeah. Because I'm like, I'm not turning this light on. Don't do your thing. Yeah, I know, but we weren't allowed, we're not allowed to technically say what was going on over there. And there, to be honest with you, there was not a lot of hidden secrets. But what was really cool about that was it's all these speakers that were really on fire about the technology. Like these people, it was like it was like this 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 intense talk about real technical things. And um, mm, I wish I was there. Now. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I doubt actually it was anything. It, I, in my opinion, the, the stuff that I heard was not revolutionary. But what was inspiring was how much they care about this shit. Yeah. You know, and that's the key. Because if you don't care, if you don't care about fucking structured data, then you're not going to learn about it. Yeah. And these people fucking care. <laughs> How do you scale any of these things? You know, like you need well, to, you need tools to do the work that humans should not be doing. You know, things well, that that's, uh, that's uh, a uh, uh, just show. robots. Yeah, right? like, we need ro oh, we can be the robots next. Actually, yeah. no. What I think it is is a nice segue into Aquisia. Yeah. Because so you're a, you're, you know, I did that. I did. Yeah. It was smooth, <laughs> like glass, baby, like glass. 
Uh, and the cool thing about you is you are a content marketer. You're like, you, are you the CMO? Is that your deal? Is that your, uh, or whatever? Yeah, founder, founder. Founder, CEO, whatever. I can read but, this tag. But you, like, you write a lot. You speak a lot. Yeah. And so you're a content marketer. That's good marketer. taste in music and food. Through that, yeah. through that, through that. Um, we should get out and go fishing with him. Oh, or we Lord. should have him down. And, and we should go steelhead fishing in the rivers in, in um, eastern Ohio up there. There's supposedly some of the great, great fishing rivers okay. around. We're going to need a guide. Yeah, yeah. a guide. Yeah, I don't know shit about this. I don't know. Well, I don't know anything. We'll find a guide. Yeah, yeah actually, uh, there's a guy, Jim Kukrell. He goes. He's big time steelhead. Oh, he's and a good marketer. Yeah, that. yeah. So anyways, I digress. But so tell the fine people about Equesia. What yeah, is it's, it's a company I founded with uh, two friends ten years ago today. Wow, uh, today? Well, ten Soon? years ago, Just go earlier this year. Oh, oh okay, <laughs> okay, because I was going to have to give you another hug. <laughs> but since it was earlier this year, not a yeah, hug. Yeah, but in the beginning it was an agency, like a yeah. paid search and SEO agency. Yes. And we had a good number of clients, and uh, we, focused, we started focusing more on PPC than SEO. And we found that the uh, month-end reporting process is uh, too uh, much to bear, and uh, so uh, we uh, built some tools for ourselves. And then we saw an opportunity. I didn't really want to be in the agency business; it was more of a means to an end. Yes. And so we found the idea. You know, like, let's let's find, let's automate that for for agencies. Yeah. So let's let's automate the. The reporting process. Yes. So agencies need to report to their customers yes. periodically. Yes. So that was the idea, and it carried us to today. You know, we yeah. have a good sized company and now so, with a yeah. much bigger tool set, of Absolutely. course. Absolutely. A reporting tool. And you're doing all but, kinds of stuff. I mean, it's yeah. like, so you're doing, I mean, give us it's some mostly, examples of what. Mostly focused on page search. We yes. do have tools for Facebook advertising, we have tools for RTV, we have we have a lot of other tools, but real time you know, bidding for the yeah. people out there. Yeah. yeah. But most of the tool set is uh, focused on solving problems for paid search. Yeah. Optimizing paid search. Paid search like getting primarily better. Primarily like what AdWords, Ad Center yep. type of stuff. Bing ads. Bing ads. Oh sorry. Come on. Jesus, what yeah. am I doing? What year is this oh, man. Get slapped. <laughs> Bing ads. Of course. What am I doing? And <laughs> So, and then there's a lot of other ones. <laughs> the, there, Yahoo's still present in some European countries. Yahoo oh, Search Market, yeah. kind of, right? Really? Still, yeah. They still have that? What? Yeah. What? Huh. And bizarre. then uh, what else? Uh, we, we do, uh, you know, Baidu in China. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very important search engine there. In really? Japan, so you'll buy, you can do Baidu? Yeah. Nice. In, in Japan, there's uh, Yahoo. Yahoo Japan. Yeah. It's not the same as Yahoo. I love how the really Canadians say Yahoo. Yahoo. I'm going to start Yahoo. saying that. No, say it like you, man. I like yours better. Yahoo. Yahoo. <laughs> Yahoo. Yeah. How do you say it? Yahoo? Oh, yeah. I know. I'm I don't mean it. Oh, don't be I love I it. I do not leave it. No, 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 no. Okay. You should so, see the poor people that come to our show week after week. Yeah. And, like, we get a lot of, like, porn. Like, people being, yeah, like, not from Pakistan. Non, like, North American people. <laughs> yeah. Just to clarify. And they have very interesting, colorful names. And I'm and not very good at that. No. no. Yeah, I but really I know your name. For them. Yeah. But if I hadn't met you, I would probably spend five minutes trying to pronounce Poirier. But it's Poirier. Luckily. Right? Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. Luckily, we got it. So, <laughs> so yeah. okay. So um, let me, let me, oh, yeah. And others. Yandex. There's, there's, like, yeah. So there's a lot of local yeah. engines in developing countries yes. that are there for. So, we, so the trick is how do you optimize paid search campaign. So how do you generate more conversions and pay less for each conversion? Yes. Manage your budgets effectively. You know, right on. So th these are the problems that we saw. Yeah. So yeah. You're, you're optimizing these campaigns for people, helping them. Automatically. Automatically. Yeah. 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 Not by humans. We Nobody. also have tools for humans. We also have that, but the, the main reason people pay us yes. is to track their results, report, and optimize. Right? Yes. So, yes. There's algorithms that are there. They're designed to generate, squeeze more conversions out of the same assets that are there. Yeah, yeah. By managing budgets yeah, and bids. Yeah. yeah. What's your um? Are you are you super excited? Not excited against um, um retargeting? What do you think of retargeting? Uh, interesting. You should ask. Me. Really? <laughs> so I, I have a I'm doing a presentation on retargeting ah. on Wednesday. So oh really? And face, 
more like the uh, areas where retargeting is uh, available today. Yeah. Facebook. So yeah. Facebook Exchange and Facebook, Facebook exchange. audiences have now. Oh, so really? You, you can go in the marketplace. Well, not now. Now it's in beta. Oh, okay. But they're releasing a new audience. So you know today you can upload email addresses and phone numbers. It's hot. Right? But now you'll be able to upload cookies. What? Yeah. You'll be able to upload. Oh, I can't Well, play. not upload cookies. Yeah, let me, but I know let what you're me rephrase saying. that. That's Twitter so yeah. I got a better one. Okay. But okay. this is a, oh, I can't even you'll wait. be able to use the Facebook tag. So there's yeah. a tag that you can deploy on your site. It'll track visitors and you'll be able to. And they also have, uh, for app developers, an SDK that allows you to track uh, visitors to your app, your mobile app. Facebook does. Yeah. Sweet. You'll be so, able to retarget these people. Yeah. On mobile and on desktop news feeds. Yeah. It's really hot. And right so, now. like, this is where, this is the hot stuff, right? Would you well, say this is it? That's real cool. Yeah. But also, Twitter and yeah. that, that they're also getting into retargeting. Right. Really? Really? Tell yeah. me all about it. Well, it's different than Facebook. Okay. So, if they don't have a tag that you put on your site, okay. they need you to provide them with your cookies or your hashed emails. You really? give it to them, and then they have them, and then they re can retarget. So, you need to. Constantly be refreshing those. So, so well, it's how not are you quite giving them, yeah. RTB. It's yeah, not right real time bidding. You can't change your ads in real because time. Because you're doing it like uploading. But like we'll get steps. there, I'm sure. Sure. Yeah, but for now, that's that's the way. So it's kind of like how the Facebook audiences started yeah. working. It's yeah. like Facebook audiences. Yeah. 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 Huh. Like so, the upload okay, your right. email file and. Do you think it's just kind of an evolution that they're going to do? They're going to start it this way, and then eventually they'll lead into something a little more automated. If it maybe. works, yeah, no, yeah. I have to. I have to because. Yeah. The, yeah. I think it's the biggest weakness right now like yeah. that, after uh, the retargeting program. Yeah. Do you find that your uh, clients that are using your tools and whatnot, are they are they doing a lot of this now? Are they doing a lot of retargeting at Facebook? Yeah. Um, so they are. I, mean, I think as a guideline, I'd say you know they spend... Do you need enough volume of traffic to your site to have yeah. a reason to retarget? Right. So, I'd say if they spend, you know, thirty to fifty thousand dollars per month or something like okay, that, so that's you really the start, need to start thinking about all those conversions that you're not capturing and that you could recapture if you did recapture. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. But you need enough volume to get it going. Is what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, because so, otherwise you're dealing with a small subset. Yeah, there's no point. Like it's going to yeah. take uh, months before you get yeah, one conversion. Yeah. You but can't do that. You, you need to what? have some every day. So. In defense of small um, audiences, like so, for example. In the tool show, so we we set a cookie over it, like ad roll and yep. AdWords, you know, and um, these people that come to the show are are loyal listeners, you know, and so like when they see another ad about the tools or like we have this something called the Sagerox system, yep. it's really powerful to them. So you know, because I'm not a huge, You'll I'm have not like great Walmart. Statistics. There's no reason why yeah. you're. Your click-through rate and your all this stuff's going to be the same. It's just the volume. It's the right. volume, but I don't need. I'm not Walmart. I don't need yeah. a million things. You don't want, you I don't mean, want to spend a bunch of money. Yeah, so it's like a little money to so experiment. So even if it's like a hundred people yeah. that see it, it's still I agree. powerful. So what I think, what I what I've noticed is the small businesses don't even know. It's not even on the radar. You know, I don't no, think. It's not. And of course, it's on the radar of somebody that's spending fifty thousand dollars a month because that's like money. Yeah. There, you know. And so, I've been constantly trying to spread the word of retargeting to all sizes of company. You know, like if you're a small accountant, yeah. In you know, in in Quebec or whatever, and and somebody comes to your site because they're like, yeah, I need an account for my business. You, you should, should be retargeting. Yeah, you to should that. look at it as uh, the, one of the first. Uh, optimization tactics that you should yeah. look at. Yeah, and you Besides know, landing page, right. you know, yeah. all the obvious you've done that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, yeah, yeah. because you That's need probably you the need, first thing you need. You need a you need a nice mix. Yeah, if you're gonna be doing display, you can't start by trying to build a brand or like I mean, yeah. if you're small, you know, it's not about brand building. It's about just getting getting more out of what you're already spending. You're yeah. already spending money on PPC. Yeah. So you can improve your overall CPA yeah. by doing intelligent acts of retargeting. Ah. So the audience matters, right? So yes. deploying a tag across your entire website is not effective. Yes. Not very yes. effective. So if it's effective for you, great. But typically, there's a problem with that because 
all visitors to all pages yeah, are not equal. That's right. right. So that's you need right. to think about okay, what are the pages on my site that are more meaningful in terms yes. of intent? Yes. And isolate these audiences. Like the contact page. For example. Yes, yeah, for example. great example. They went to the contact page, they never filled they out. They didn't the go form. to the thank you page. Well, right. Why so do they go there? Yeah. They, they wanted to do it. Maybe they were looking for your pricing. Maybe yeah. they had a little hesitation. Yeah. Maybe a sales guy's going to call me. I'm yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they dropped out. Yeah. So you can go and capture these people. Right. So what I love about it is, like, up until retargeting, I, I was obsessed with getting people's information. It was all about me forcing them to give me their email and phone number. But now with retargeting, I can back off of that. I mean, I still want it. Yeah. But... I'm not obsessed with it because I know I haven't lost them. Some people call it re-messaging. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I mean, just to let them remind them, like, hey. Uh, I nice. told you already, but I'll tell yeah, you again, because it looks like you're not listening. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, you awesome. came once, but, you know, yeah, maybe it was your intentions bad. Crazy. Yeah. So that's what you're speaking about here at PubCon? Hot? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like, oh, yeah I have to think, because I'm so. also oh, no, moderating. Oh, oh right. gotcha. Yeah. When are you doing that? Like, what, do you know when you're speaking? What day? Uh, I think it's Wednesday. Wednesday? Um, I don't know what time. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, all right. Yeah. 3 o'clock. They can look it up. 2.30, yeah. 2.30, 3.30. Okay. Um, I have another question for you because I have, like, a million questions for you. So, you have a million I got, questions for, like, every I know. I just want to know Earth. things so much. But okay. she's been hanging out waiting for you. Oh, that Okay, okay. All right, one let's, last. Let's, 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 let's. Should we wrap it up? Let's say something smart. Oh, okay. you say it, Wait, oh my God! Oh, oh that's gonna take oh, a while. Oh, okay. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the best <laughs> advice I have. Go to kimchi for Just Korea. There. I saw it coming up here. Yeah. Have you been it's, there before? It's sixty bucks. I think it's like sixty bucks a head. But what you do, and you get the buffet. Get the buffet. And you <laughs> it's, sit it's down. It's not gonna work. I'm going out with uh, Larry Kim. Yeah. From WordStream today. Oh. And, uh, the first thing you said is no buffet. What? Well, okay, well, don't well, go with them. It's not. It's not like a no, buffet no, no, where you're no, like. No. It's not like a normal okay, buffet. It's not like that. It's like you go and you pick up all your ingredients, and then yeah, they bring yeah, you meats them and, and they table. bring, yeah, and they bring the meats. Yeah, they bring the fish. They bring awesome. the meat. And, really, and, and, really and good. they have like a, and they have, the, and there's a hood like right above your table, so it sucks the, the stuff yeah, right this out. This is a worldwide traveler, man. He yeah, knows. Yeah, th what I'm telling you, buddy. This stuff. All right. The shiznit. That's a good right. tip, man. Really yeah. happy yeah. just for that. See, that's why you wanted something smart. <laughs> and for that's seeing a, Greg. It's been I know, it's been a million years. way too long. We love you, way man. I love the fact that we've had this long history together. And, like, yeah. you know, you're a great guy. You're great for the uh, industry. And um, we're, 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 we're lucky to have you. Thank you. you. All right, buddy.